Welcome my friends. It has been such a delight to make this video because it's devoted to sharing the good news of Jesus. There's another great song by Pat Barrett called The Way that would be great for you to listen to. In this video, I've asked a few friends from our school to help. Avram from our third grade class, the best brothers, Joseph and Jack from second and first, and let's not forget the Pierre sisters, Shana and Sarah. We hear a lot about Jesus, but knowing him in our hearts makes all the difference. Perhaps you will be like the lost person who wanders into the cafe trying to find the way. Well, I've invited my friend Avon here from the third grade class to help lead us in a prayer for our second chapel. So let's get in our positions, Avon. Position one, God is above everything. Position two, we're going to pray for you. Position three, don't forget to pray for me. Let's close our eyes and please repeat. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For this time. For this time. Where we can learn from your word. Where we can learn from your word. Please open our ears. Please open our ears. So we'll listen. So we'll listen. Give us soft hearts. Give us soft hearts. So we'll do what we hear. So what we'll do, so we'll do what we hear. Lord bless this video. Lord bless this video. Draw us closer to you. Draw us closer to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi there. It looks like it's birthday time again. I know. We did it last week, right? Well, guess what happened? Somebody's cupcake didn't make it on the board because, I don't know, I looked everywhere for it and then I found it. And it's David, who is in our first grade class, so we're going to put his cupcake up. It just so happens today is actually his birthday, August 28th. So let me put it up. Oh, uh, right over here is a good spot, right? Okay, let's sing, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you in all that you do and many more. Good morning, boys and girls. I told you before that I'm an algebra teacher at Broward College. So now you get to actually see my classroom. This is my virtual classroom. And you know, sometimes my students do problems like this. These are easy ones. Um, they do, you know, sometimes very much harder problems. But we would want to solve this by saying, I lost two and I gained five. So now I'm three to the good. So three X, negative two X added to five X is 3x. What would I have if I said negative 2x minus 5x? Well, you would say I lost 2 and I lost 5 more. So now I lost 7 in all. We well, you know what did we say that we were doing with these problems? It starts with an S. Who can remember that word? We were solving them. Okay, and there's another problem that we have as human beings, not an algebra problem, something really much worse. It also starts with S, and it is called the sin problem. Oh my gosh, I am lost. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going, and boy, this backpack's so heavy. Ah, oh, it's hard. I, I have to use this cane even to walk now. It's so heavy. Ah. Welcome. You're in His Manic Cafe. Take your backpack off and have a seat. I wish I could take this heavy burden off my back. I've been carrying it for so long. It's affecting the way I even walk. It is such a problem. Oh, 
I see now. I see. It's a it's a problem. It's it's a sin problem. Sin? Well, what is sin? Sin is anything that you think, say, do, or don't do that displeases God. Well, yep. I guess I got a few of those. I want to sit down here for a minute, but where did this sin come from? In the beginning, God created man in his image. Man walked and talked with God in the garden. Along came Satan, and man fell into sin. Sin separated man from God, but God didn't leave him there. He promised that one day he would send a Savior. So, where did you hear that story? It's in the Bible. The Bible is a book about God. It's a book about you. It's a book about me. In the beginning of the Bible, it tells us where we came from. In the end of the Bible, it tells us where we're going. And in the Gospels, it tells us how to get there. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Oh, back a little bit ago, you said something about sin separates us from God. So what is that? God is holy, loving, and just. On the one hand, God loves us and doesn't want to punish us. But on the other hand, God is just and must punish sin. Do you see the problem? God solved that problem by sending Jesus. Joseph, this is my brother Jack. Say hello, Jack. Uh, no. <laughs> today, today we're going to teach you about Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God. He came from heaven to earth. He lived a perfect life. He died on the cross to pay for our sins. He rose from the dead. He's in heaven now preparing a place for us. How do I receive this gift and get rid of my burden? Receive this gift by faith. Faith, faith is, is not, not just knowing about God in your head. Faith, faith is not just temporary. temporary. Faith, faith is trusting in Jesus Christ alone with your whole heart. Does, Does this make sense to you? Oh my. God. Oh. Jesus died for my sin, for the stuff that I've been carrying. He gave it to me, me. Oh my gosh, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I have sinned and Jesus died on the cross for me and Set me free. I'm free. I'm free from the burden of sin. Thank you, Jesus. Boys and girls, we're going to do something a little bit differently with our Bible verse this week. I want every time there is a pink box, I want the girls to stand up and say what is inside the pink box. And then you sit down real quickly. And the boys stand up and they say the blue boxes. And I'm going to say the whole thing to kind of keep you guys on track and not, not get you behind. So get on the tip of your seat. Be ready to jump up and sit back down. All right, here's the Bible verse. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now I'm kind of thinking, I'm not there watching you, but I'm kind of thinking that you guys didn't quite get that yet. So let's try it again. Are you ready to jump up when it's your turn? All right, girls starting off. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father 
except through me. All right, now I changed up the colors. So you guys got to think more quickly. The boys are starting this time. Here we go. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. All right, now we're going to make it really hard. You can't see the color ahead of time. I'm going to put it there right when you need it. So you have to be Johnny on the spot. If anybody jumps up at the wrong time, we're going to have to come up with some kind of penalty for them, aren't we? Okay, are you ready, guys? Here goes. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. How did you do? The boys had to stand up twice in a row and so did the girls at one point in that one, right? Okay, one more time, except it's different. Got to be ready. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I just had a thought. What if we just do this faster? The boys are starting. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We found the way. Jesus is the way. When we are forgiven of our sins, we have peace with God and the heaviness of our sins, like the backpack, they are gone. Please take time to do the video club paper. It will help you to remember. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love for each and every one of us, that you would send Jesus to die on the cross to pay for our sins so that we could have a relationship with you. Lord God, help us to know you in our hearts and to share you with others. What great news. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.